Hey guys, it's Urban Investor here, back with another video, and today we are looking at my top 10 picks based off purely major announcements and roadmap updates in Q1. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I usually uh, base my top uh, picks every month on technical analysis for the most part, and that's using simple moving averages and support and resistance levels to determine entry point. However, we're going to flip the script and look at purely fundamental basis and essentially more on a time bound basis and in February and March, which is, you know, we're pretty much into it now, now that we're at the end of January. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now, currently I've got coin market cap loaded on the screen and one uh, or a couple of themes rather what you notice with my picks is two things. First and foremost, seven of my 10 picks is based off enterprise solutions and now what do i mean by that that's essentially uh, projects where uh, we're looking at building a blockchain a standalone blockchain where dApps or decentralized apps can be built with the usual uh, features such as smart contracts etc now let's see why this is relevant if we just scale through the top 10 we can see ethereum the second biggest crypto and an enterprise solution we've got cardano only you know launched as a crypto a couple of months ago and again an enterprise solution competing with ethereum stella number six an enterprise solution neo number seven enterprise solution and the list goes on so we can see how big enterprise solutions are and how, how much potential there are a lot of these coins have really popped up in the billions in terms of market cap in a very short space of time hence why i think again these are some great picks as you'll see in a second and the second thing particularly with the first three when we look at is a common theme and that's with branding now why is this important let's look at neo now with neo we can see we've had some mad um, price action uh, but if we look a little uh, further back we can see around about June and August time Neo had a rebranding announcement so back around this time Neo was actually called Anches and it wasn't even worth much if I remember correctly it was probably worth less than ten dollars and look what that uh, did to the price compared to Bitcoin in particular we can see it shot up now what is Neo trading today around about 143 dollars so we can see how much uh, importance and potential there is in enterprise solutions and also rebranding now we know the recent rise isn't because of rebranding however it's due to rumors of um, neo having potential listings on or icos on their platform so again very important in terms of this space now let's look a little closer if again we scroll down the list we've got nano here 23 percent up 23 percent today now what the hell is nano if we go here Ray blocks rebrand right so this was just announced today only a few ago, hours ago and we can see the price is shot up 23 percent now if we go on this link here if we copy it in it takes us to the uh, ray blocks or now nano um, medium page blog page and we can see basically ray blocks has now rebranded to nano and they've given an announcement now this wasn't in the roadmap not that i believe anyway so we can see how you know important and uh, how much hype there is really around branding like you know it's not really anything in terms of adoption that something's happened but just purely from branding we can see how important it is so with those two points to bear in mind i.e enterprise solutions and rebranding re let's jump into my first pick which is v chain now v chain we can see similar to um nano or rayblox they've announced a rebranding plan and look at the price of VeChain. it's really skyrocketed it's just gone in one way we've had a bit of a correction and again it's back up again seven percent versus Bitcoin six point five eight percent versus USD now if we look at this announcement if we go to the medium page um, and then we can see there's a lot of information here and then a, a bit about the rebranding nothing really about dates from what I can see but I think if we go a step further I'll add a look at their Twitter page and we can see 
Initially, they've announced um, an update in mid Jan. However, now they've got an announcement on the 26th of February. They've got an event in Singapore. So, I think this is again potentially going to be a catalyst for growth. We can see it's already on its uptrend, and we can argue potentially some of this is priced in already. However, as we get nearer to the date, I'm sure it will drive some further action. So again, do your own sort of research in terms of entry points. If you guys follow my channel, you know I don't usually like to get in on our top end. However, at the minute we have had a pullback and therefore this is a good opportunity. Now, so what is VChain? Let's just jump into the website and uh, find out. So as I've said, actually we can see the website's down at the minute. I don't know if it's down uh, to do with um, you know the rebrand, but at the moment the website's not uh, loading. However, just a quick summary again in the interest to keep the video um, short vchain is just another ethereum in some respects it's just a blockchain um, with you know uh, focus probably more on supply chain management really but the principles are the same they're looking at uh, building a platform where decentralized apps can build upon and therefore utilize various uh, blockchain um, uh, benefits such as smart contract etc so i'm not going to delve into it too much otherwise this video is going to be um, quite lengthy so definitely do check it out and look into uh, vchain now before i move on i'll quickly summarize we can see it's at six dollars 26 um up six percent market cap of 2.8 billion ranked number 17 so quite high um in terms of market cap and fairly new project if you look at it, it's only been listed or on a coin market cap anyway since august so not not that long so you can argue there's future potential in terms of price action very good um, volume 24 hours and then if you look at a circulating supply it's very small if you look at you know cardano and a few other projects um you know it's in the billions nowadays so what does that mean for future price action the less supplied the more um chance for price uh, in terms of action because there's more scarce or scarcity in, in this project and less um, available coins so you don't really have an inflationary issue or um, impact with the releases as much as you do or coin releases as, as you do with some of the bigger coins or bigger supply coins so I think that's massive for it and then if we just quickly look at the markets we can see it's currently mainly on Binance you've got Huobi as well but probably most of the volumes on Binance so if you've got a Binance account do check it out so let's move on to number two which is Lisk now Lisk again we can see it's had a nice uh, massive jump here in in a period where the market isn't looking too great um, and it's up 21 percent now let's jump into this i've already said the top first three coins um, i've picked is based on rebranding so let's have a look at the website so we can see on the website again a blockchain platform so i'm not going to delve into it too much again guys check it out for yourself it's essentially um, an ethereum competitor uh, and um, trying to build a platform for apps to be built now if we click on this here we can see there's a relaunch event so on the 20th of feb in berlin there's a relaunch event so potentially again some updates um you know um, some other developments in the roadmap so again i think it's going to create hype and buzz so i expect the price to still go up um up until this event and depending on obviously the outcome it could shoot up more if there's a, some announcements or it could come down depending on if people uh, you know don't get what they want from the hype so it could go two ways I saw this with Ripple back in um, I think it was October time where they had an event I can't remember uh, off the top of my head what the event was but there was a lot of hype price went up and there wasn't really any major announcements and then the price shot back down again so just bear that in mind however I think uh, it's still not quite priced in in my view I think there's still future up, up potential and we've still got another 20 odd days before the, the date of uh, 20th of Feb so again another potential coin um, and as, as always with these videos guys I'm not going to delve into the coins too much because I want to keep this as short as possible we've got 10, 10 coins to get through so definitely check out the website and don't just take my words for it so we can see again 3 billion to the market cap rank 15th a very good uh, volume and a circulating supply of 117 million now there's no max supply here just to bear, bear in mind and if we go into the market we can see you can get it on again binance 
uh, up bit uh, and a few others bit Z so um, definitely do check that out now number three on my list is one that's not in the top 100 so probably a bit less known uh, so ranked 111 at the minute so let's check out blocknet so with blocknet again a decentralized platform so similar to um, ethereum etc now again check out the websites if you want to find out more information i'm not going to delve into it too much and how it sort of differentiates but it's very similar in terms of um, the competitors that i've mentioned at the start and now let's jump into uh, the blog and now what do we see here we can see um, there was an announcement just I think it was yesterday and what do we have here we can see uh, some update on the communication nothing major here right we've got a beta launch for the 1st of March there's a roadmap which we will check in a second and then you've got some other stuff further down which is a redesigned wallet now we can see again they've announced a marketing and branding proposal which was signed recently so again branding we can see I think it's going to be huge um, and again you can see here you've got your marketing plan due to be launched tomorrow and then you've got uh, brand reveals and uh, exchange beta launch so again you've got brand and then you've got a, a white paper due as well which is again potential good capitalists there if there's any major updates and then wallet redesign a bit further out but essentially the message is clear again you've got rebranding and an enterprise solution and this one arguably has more potential because it's outside the top 100 so if it sort of picks up into the top 100 it's going to get more views more um, buzz and more um, uh, you know excitement because people tend to focus on the top 100 on the first page of coin market cap so i mean this one again is going to have a huge potential we can see it's down a couple of percent although like many altcoins it's gone up compared to bitcoin back in uh, december all the way up to here but look at the all-time highs relative to bitcoin it's still nowhere near there although the usd is pretty high so i think again it's really shot up if you look at it in the the months uh, however no one's really probably focused on this because it's outside the top 100 so you can see again at the start of december it was at what 21 dollars it's already jumped up almost you know 50 percent um in a very short space of time so do check this one out i think this one's got more potential than uh, v chain and lisk in some respects because it's not that well known and again you can see um it's got a very modest market cap of 176 million if you look at some of the other players they were in the billions so huge upside potential in my view a very decent uh, volume again um and a circulating supply of just five million although there's no max supply in in this case and where can you get it? bitrix has got most of the volume and then you've got upbit uh, as well right so moving on to number four if my memory serves me right i think it's number four yep and that is quantum now quantum um again we can see it's one of the the bigger players ranked number 16 let's jump in to the website just to see what this is about or what am i trying to dig out here and again quantum what is quantum quantum again is another blockchain so similar to ethereum um common theme as i've said so do check out the website if you want to find more information now uh if we look at let's look at the blog again let's look at the blog um right so i don't think there's some development up there's nothing based here right so why have i picked quantum now actually on the bodhi page which is one of the first major um, dApps on quantum uh, again as i've said um, adoption is key we've heard the rumors with neo and look at the price action um, and again stella i think i can't remember what company adopted or chose uh, stella over ethereum and again the price rose there so adoption is so important but look at this Bodhi, if I pronounce that properly, is doing um, a coin airdrop. So bot is basically their uh, code for their coin, and they're dropping uh, four million uh, to celebrate. Uh, I think it's the Chinese New Year, if I remember correctly. If it's somewhere in here, um, I don't think it's on there, but maybe it was another one. But we can see before. Um, so they're doing a, a, an airdrop before they uh, to encourage people to use their. Uh, predictive market platform so basically Bodhi is a dap on quantum 
Um, there are a Chinese company that look at productive models to predict um, you know sports and some other sort of things I've got a page up here as well if you guys want to check it out um, what the projects about so you can see um, to predict the outcome of sports etc so do check that out if you want to find more information but moving back here you can see they're doing an airdrop for every hundred quantum uh, you receive four bot, bot tokens so essentially this is uh, free money in some respects right so I think again we can this is gonna usually it's huge we saw it with uh, NXT or next when um, they did um, the airdrop I can't remember which one it was but it was on the other uh, network so we saw a huge price increase and then a bit of a sell-off after but again this is huge I think uh, but just bear in mind you've got to keep this in the in a wallet as you can see here if you want the airdrop so you can't keep it on the exchanges but they're saying the airdrop or the, uh, the snapshot is going to be happening uh, here it is Chinese New Year 16th of Feb so again if we go back to um, quantum is it really priced in I don't believe so when was this announcement 20th of Jan right 20th of Jan we don't really see any spike in price action so I think again this one's going under the radar um, no one's really uh, noticed because quantum haven't mentioned anything not that I know of in the website and Bodhi um, if we look at Bodhi I don't think they're they're, they're very small they're not ranked um, very highly at the minute so again I think this one's got huge potential for as we near closer to Feb so again 2.9 billion market cap rank 16th a very good sub, uh, volume and again a very limited supply circulating supply of 73 million and total supply of 100 million again when you got the likes of Cardano and a few others and that have been released recently they're in the billions so again I think the price potential for quantum is a lot you know is huge given the limited supply right so what's next on my list so we have Aeon or Ion I don't know if I'm pronouncing it properly but I'll refer to it as Aeon so Aeon again ranked in the top 100 so you guys might have um, been aware of this now again Aeon if we look at the charts is had a bit of a correction dipping down so potentially this is a good entry point again do your research now if we jump to the website again how are we doing for time 70 minutes let's try and run through these as quickly as possible in the interest of time so again another blockchain so nothing new here check out the website if you want to find out more information and as always let's uh, delve in and see what we can find so they've got a blog here so with Aeon we can see what do we have here 26th of Jan just a few days ago testnet launch so again this is in my view a major announcement they're one step closer to releasing their mainnet and you can see here on 1st of February they're going to open up the beta for testing and then uh, a few other sort of you can see March uh, open testnet so I think it's, it's not long before you'll have the mainnet and what does that mean when you have the mainnet you, you're very close to having adoption because uh, the product is live so again guys I think this this is a huge in terms of announcement we can see jumping back here it was only announced a few days ago it's not really priced in if I can see 26th okay so we had a bit of a jump and then a correction so it's gonna go away people have very short memories in the crypto space so I think as we near closer to um, you know February and, and those dates and uh, successful launches I think it, again huge potential where are we on this again rank 73 so only 300 odd, um, million to the market cap 350 odd again compared to Cardano all of those other big boys you can see they're in the billions a very good volume in 24 hours and again a very limited supply um, I think this this is going to be um, a huge potential again if you I'm going to jump back here to tell you why uh, you can see look look at Cardano in the billions Stella in the billions new limited supply NEM and uh, yeah so you can see there's all of these big boys have got uh, huge limited supplies or, or so-called limited supplies and therefore there means um, there's going to be uh, you know less of um, a um, update or uh, up, up, uptrend in price because essentially what is you know determine, uh, determining um, price you've got supply and demand so if 
demand in increases uh, beyond supply, then price is going to go up. If you have billions of coins in circulation and in, in the exchanges, the chances of the price to go up is going to be less compared to something with um, a, a limited supply. So hopefully, I probably didn't explain that the best way, but hopefully you guys get my view. So now let's move on to the next one, which is Luxcoin. Now, what is Luxcoin? Again, this one is very small comparative to the others we went through. You can see it's ranked 353. But again, let's jump into the website to find out. So Luxcoin, you guys can guess it. It's another platform. So no surprises there in terms of my picks. Now let's jump again. I'm not going to waste any time going through this in terms of what they do. Do check it out. Let's jump straight into the roadmap. What do we have on their roadmap upcoming? So you can see relatively, um, you can see they've delivered on their roadmap, which is great. Slightly behind on this one. Uh, but we can see here, major wallet upgrade, retrading functions, marketing phase one. Now we saw what how important branding is. Again, you've got marketing, a white paper release as well, um, which is due, I think, yesterday. So they're a bit behind there. Again, SegWit and smart contract integration. And then you've got pre-mine burn. So that sounds to me that they're going to uh, reduce um, uh, the supply of coins in circulation, which again, increases the price. And then you've got marketing phase two. So you can see a lot of white papers and marketing um, updates. So again, I think this has some great potential um, and again, looking at this, it's so small at the minute. Rank 353, only 22 million market cap. Still a very good volume. Comparative to some of the others we saw that were ranked in just outside the top 100, we saw similar levels of volume. So we can see you're not going to get uh, the big whales or um, you know some manipulation and pump and dumps here. And again, very, very, very small supply here. Only 3.9 million um, in um, you know total supply. Actually, I'm not sure why they've got total and then they've got max here. But regardless, you've got max supply here at 60 um, million. So very, very small here. And then look where we are. We've had the uh, a run up here and we've been having a bit of a correction. Now, the question is, um, is any of this priced in already in the announcement? I don't think so. Again, it's not on the radar. It's not, you know, it's 353 into the rank. So again, another uh, big uh, opportunity in my view so let's jump into the next couple i don't think there's many left guys hopefully you're sticking with me i know it's 20 minutes 22 minutes already and that's quantum resistant ledger so this i already covered in my channel so do check out my standalone video but this is basically another um uh, you know a platform with uh the caveat or unique benefit in some respects that is quantum resistant so do check out what that means in terms of uh, more powerful computers i'm not going to delve in too much but again let's have a look at the blog why do i think this is so big so if we look at this post by peter we can see mainnet launch mid q1 so again as i've said previously some of these other companies or projects are doing uh, beta launches these guys are doing their main launch main net launch rather uh, which means again one step closer to adoption um, and there's a few other here we can see um, you know some of our announcements but I'm not going to in, dwell in it too much you can see they're doing a token migration as well so I'm moving from uh, ERC20 Ethereum tokens to their own standalone coin so again uh, I think that's going to cause some um, attraction in price so we can see I don't think it's priced in again it's not really moved much it's sort of consolidating and dipping like the most coins out there at the minute so do check these guys out ranked 177 84 million market cap so again when you compare it to other quantum resistant uh coins out there you've got iota which is in the i think eight or ten billion and then you've got um next nexus was it i think it was nexus yeah uh, which is again in the top hundred so uh, in in somewhere in the region of three four hundred million in market cap so again these guys are very small and look at the volume um it's quite quite small actually comparative um uh, to some of the others oh, actually sorry not so uh, small we saw 500k on this one on the others so this one's got millions so no 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 uh, issues there i mean in my view um good volume there and then you've got a very, very small supply again uh, in in the millions rather than billions so do check these guys out now what's next on my list 
I think it's number eight if I'm right yes number eight which is Bytecoin now Bytecoin is a privacy coin so we're breaking away from these uh, platforms now Bytecoin if my memory serves me right I covered it in my top three uh, picks under cent and Bytecoin or Monero rather is a fork of Bytecoin so you can see uh, Monero where it is at the minute it's in uh, the top 20 into the market cap so you can see how much potential there is for Bytecoin um, in terms of if we take Monero as an example now again I'm not going to dwell in check the website out now let's look at their blog to see if we can find any uh, announcements now we go here we've got um, some development announcements and then we've got a roadmap now let's have a look at the roadmap which is recently uh, revealed what do we have public beta uh, API launch in the 6th of Feb and then we've got the stable release and then we've got a hard fork coming as well I know if they're ever further out there so I don't know if it means there's gonna be a token burn or anything like that which or a new currency and uh, nothing mentioned here and then you've got a test net public test net later on but we're gonna focus on Q1 and we can see they've got betas um, which is I think some great news because again they're getting closer to uh, moving the project along so, and then the hard fork as well at the end of the uh, or end of the quarter um, rather actually uh, June so I'm just gonna focus on these two so uh, again I think you've got the roadmap you've got um, some good good traction I think these guys have been around for a while again if we jump back here look at that 2014 so one of the old school coins um, you know one uh, billion to the market cap you got ranked in the top 30 very good volume and um, Albeit a slightly bigger uh, mark, uh, you know max supply that we've got uh, 184 billion so so yeah, so again very small in terms of USD uh, not even a cent yet a half a cent and We can see it's at a nice uh, dip at the minute comparative to where it was in December and uh, in recent months so do check out these guys you can see again they've got a couple of catalysts coming which hopefully will drive the price now next on my list is BitBay now BitBay ranked 152 now what is Bit BitBay just conscious we're really going into a lot of time so BitBay think of it as the decentralized eBay right no fees you can trade direct P2P um, and the rest of it so again do check them out in terms of um, the project now let's have a look at the roadmap because this is where we want to see what there is now we've got um, a buy te sell template coming up which I think is going to be big because again this is a, uh, a marketplace so you want to know how this works you've got a graphics update for the client so again this is refreshing the uh, you know, visuals again this could be huge but this is what does it for me in terms of uh, you know announcement special announcement so there's nothing here so it could be maybe an exchange launch it could be uh, you know some deal with uh, and a, a client or something like that we don't know but again that could drive some growth as we come to the end of March um, so yeah so that's bit bay 152 into the rank very modest market cap of around about 130 million decent volume and um, a circulating supply of around about a billion at the minute and look again a good discount in terms of comparative to its recent highs and again this was if I remember correctly was down to just a website launch so you can see how much branding is in terms of importance so again do check them out now what does that leave that leaves only one more coin and that's Grozel coin now Grozel coin um, is ranked 225 at the minute now what is Grozel coin Grozel coin is basically um, similar to uh, Litecoin similar to vertcoin in the sense of being a digital currency that's uh, not like bitcoin in terms of being uh, quick and also being uh, very very low in terms of uh, uh, fees now they're doing atomic swaps and uh, all of this other sort of greatness that's going in in uh, the crypto world and there's a lot on here and they're going under the radar if i'm honest so definitely do check them out in terms of uh, a good project now why am i picking coin so they've got a major announcement in 50 days which nicely lines up with around about March time so they use this every quarter so again if they've got some major announcements this could drive the price up so we can see again 225 
only 56 million in terms of market cap a very good volume look at that comparative to some of the other coins out there we saw very close to the top 100 and the volume was even close to this so again that shows it's not uh, a, you know shit coin or uh, pump and dump and very limited supply look 105 million um, so yeah so that wraps it up uh, for you guys so I know it's been 30 minutes so I tried to make it as quick as possible however hopefully uh, it's been useful so do uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section and let's see how this pans out hopefully we can see some great great breakout as always um, leave a like comment and subscription and I'll catch you guys in the next video